I'm back, y'all. Hey, it's Jaslyn with another video. Jaslyn with the body artistry coming to you live with another video. No, I'm just kidding. But hey, y'all, I know it's been a minute. Your girl has been, whoo, been working, Lord Jesus. And then my baby, he decided to just say, hey, early. Mind you, you know, I'm I reside in Texas and we have like a winter storm week and then right after that, boom, he wanna come. So my maternity leave came pretty early. But you know, we they the babies come when they wanna come. So Auntie Who I hope all is well with you guys. Um, I'm gonna do better. I'm gonna try to do better with these videos, child. It's just I gotta I gotta get a routine together, y'all. I have three children under five, okay? <laughs> Let's pray that I don't go bald head be bald headed by the end of this year. No, I'm just kidding, but still it's goodness. It's it's a lot, but I know I'll be alright. But here's some little luscious little, you know, little razzle dazzle in grounds. Oh, and also, since I've had him, he is with me. So, disclaimer, you're going to hear a few baby noises, you know. So, if that irritates you, you're welcome to scroll up to the right-hand side of the computer and exit. Or, you can scroll up and click that little back, that back button, and there you have it, child. Yes, Lord, you can click off. It's so funny when people leave little stuff. Oh, you know what? And I want to say thank you to everybody who has left commentary or whatever pertaining to my videos. That they understand the differences, you know. I, it's not that I'm concerned about people saying that I'm stealing uh videos or anything like that. Or, you know, any other extractor's videos. It's just... People, when you're a true fan of an individual, you know their work. So, I appreciate whoever, you know, if it's Jada, if it's just other people in general that you guys like. You know they work because you watch them closely, you know. And you understand that the videos that I release are my videos. So, shouts out to you guys. So... Yes, I just need to get Ugh. and then, uh, uh, another another thing. The tweezers, I've been getting a lot of inquiries about my tweezers or tweezers I get. Child, I buy tweezers everywhere, okay? From the Lash Extension Store to the Beauty Supply Store to Amazon. I mean, I buy them everywhere. And a lot of the time, as you just saw, they're, they'll be dull, you know? So, I'm having to sandpaper them and do all these other little nicks and tricks to get them to grip better. So, I'm actually... In the process of looking for a distributor and or vendor to really make my own. Um, and, you know, go from there. Um, I feel like I've, you know, went through a massive amount of implements. Just, yeah. I went through massive amounts. And um, to know what I want and to know, like, what, you know, what specific using the different tools to actually remove so i feel like to remove the hair i feel like i'll be able to provide you know other estheticians or just other people in general with um with tools to use to help extract the um ingrowns better so that'll be coming soon i'm excited for what's to come it's just really getting everything together. That's all of that. Mm -hmm. A little curl for the girls with a little bit of, a little bit of dead uh, skin attached. It's so crazy, but ingrown hairs look like once you extract them. It's so fascinating. 
But yeah, you guys. I'm just rambling from from here. If you don't like rambling, mute it, okay? I'm not here to please anybody that got a negative opinion, child. And mind you, I take... What is it? <clears throat> my, my brain cells. What's the word? I can take criticism. What I don't take is disrespect. It's a big difference. So, when people be like, oh, you don't need to be on YouTube, look. Okay. If you was in my face, baby, you would not be saying none of what you typing on on the keyboard. So, like I said, if you don't like what you see, you don't like me rambling, you don't, baby, do not look at my video, okay? I'm not going to say it no more. Probably going to say that this is my second time. But other than that, shout out to all of my lovely fans. No, I'm going to call y'all fans. Say family, really, you know. Mm, I'm not nobody. Not say I'm not nobody, but you know what I'm saying? It's like, this, I'm just removing hair from the vulva in a luxurious way. And I didn't edit these videos, you guys. I mean, I did, but typically what I will do is, extra, like, I will edit to the point where I'm pulling the hair out and then cut it. Boom, it's over. You, you ain't seeing no work. You're not seeing me probably not even get it. So I have included that in this video. Jesus, it's only been six minutes and I got ten more. Oh, Lord. Mm-mm-mm. Child, I'm about to be... Look, in a minute, I'm going to find some music. <laughs> well, that was a nice one. Oh, there you look. I got squeeze a little bit of... Squeeze a little bit of that good stuff out. Getting out some of those little bitty hairs. Mm -hmm. What else? I don't know. Is this video the one with the good? I, I mixed them in there. Some of these is just like, you know, I got a little regular ingrown hair, you know, a little, little regular. Um. <clears throat> And groans, and then some of the, some of them on the on the in this video are really good too. So I'm like, what are the good ones, the juicy ones? The 26 inch long ones. Hmm. I don't know if he look like it hurt. I see why y'all be like, do it hurt? And child, we just be in here chopping it up like it's no tomorrow. Because that's the first thing I ask. I'm like, are you okay? Are you hurting? Because I don't want to put nobody in no pain. Because it's uncomfortable. It really is. So, I try. I really do my best to get it out without, you know what I'm saying? Putting, having uh, my client in an uncomfortable position. So if it's like hurting, I'm just like, all right, we gonna we gonna cut it. We stopping right here. And I think that's some dried up blood, not dried up, but it's about to come. Oh no, it's not. <laughs> well, excuse the hell out of me. That was a little piece of hair. It's gonna be looking like, hmm. That was good. What's up top? And just another little tidbit or whatever, little words of advice. Sugaring doesn't ultimately, like, stop ingrowns. Honestly, there's no form of hair removal that will just... A little, that'll just completely stop ingrowns 
Only thing, I mean, reason being is because it's coming off of the vulva traumatically in a sense of it's it's an unnatural way, you know, to just have for the hair to come out like that. And the natural way that your hair remove, is to be removed from the vulva is to just fall out. But, of course, we don't, we don't want that. So, um, I just advise my clients when they come that, yes, they do. Yes, sugaring does reduce, um the presence of ingrowns but you will begin to um the for the ones that you do see pop up here and there is it's due to like the hairs being too thin to um not too thin but it's just like they they're the density of the hair cannot penetrate through that new epidermis and then if you have that old dead skin sitting on top of your new skin it's just not going to be able to break through. So I just advise dry brush before you get in the shower. You know, if you could do it every day, perfect. Cleanse it. Cleanse the brush with distilled vinegar and water. Put a few little essential drops in it. You know, whatever essential oil you like to kill that vinegar smell. Brush is good for three months. And um. That's just been the most effective for me with exfoliating. And that'll help a lot. It will. But just to, you know, hey, if you get one. Because some people are like, oh my gosh, I got one ink grown. What the hell? Um, I wasn't supposed to. You said I was not supposed to get ink grown. Like, it's, it can happen. It can happen. Okay? So, just to let you guys know, yes, sugaring is the best, the absolute best way to traumatically remove your hair from the vulva. Yes, it is. But you can still get in rooms. Okay, let's get back to the video. Hmm, that was fast. And I did try some of your <clears throat> guys' suggestions pertaining to, like, you know, ways that I should record. And I have my little ring light. It's just, it's too far. And I probably got to, probably have to try a different brand or whatever. Because I have the generic one that I got off Amazon. Um, so, I'm going to do the little, I'm going to, the next one I'm going to try is that GoPro um, that you can wear on your head. And I'm going to see how that works because this thing in my hand, I mean, it gets the job done, you know. I mean, I've been doing it since I've been recording videos, so it gets the angle good. But sometimes, you know, I need my other hand just to kind of like, you know, hold the skin taut to make sure I can really get that hair good. So that's going to be my next investment so that... I can just wear that thing and, yeah, go through the day without having to try to get set up. Because sometimes, oh my God, I have, ugh, shame on me. I have extracted so much without recording. It's ridiculous. Yes. <clears throat> and another thing, you guys, I'm using my manual pump. So, yeah, if you're here and trying to figure out what that knocking sound is. It's me trying to extract this good this good golden milk out. So, you know, you got to get it while you can when the baby's asleep. So, that's what you're hearing. You know, he hear me talking about his stuff. But, yeah, we just getting out these little bitty, little bitty uh, hairs. Is it any more good stuff? Oh, oh, oh. well, hello, little snake. That just popped up out of there sometimes. You don't even know. Tell me, I'll be surprised with myself. Is there anything else? I think I got a few good ones on, on here. I got some more videos. <clears throat> That's all right. I'm gonna put. I'm gonna try to um release like do like every two weeks or something for some videos. A try, okay? Please do not. I did not write my hand, write it in blood that I was gonna do it. So 
but I'm definitely going to. Because I, I have more footage and I got a little more time. You know, especially with me being on maternity leave. So, we're going to get some stuff together. Some good footage. Hmm. I think this video was all right. I mean, I really can do better. I think this was a few months that I really wasn't getting a lot of, you know, because y'all know what I could get out. <clears throat> I spoke too soon. This is all right, too. It's, all, it's, it's a good one. Uh-oh, it's my papa bear. It's okay. Yeah, this one was thugging with your girl. Like a little tug of war rope in there or something. Well, it was good talking to you. I will see you guys next time.